Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Surprise, it's me. It's been a really hot minute. I haven't really had the mental capacity to really sit down and talk to you guys. A lot has happened since the last time I uploaded a more traditional video. I don't really wanna get into it today. I don't know if I will ever really be in the right headspace to really get into it, but someone in my family is pretty sick. I found out over Memorial Day weekend, and I just haven't been dealing well. I mean, I've been dealing as best as I possibly can, but I just haven't been able to really sit down and hit record on the camera. But today, I woke up and I just like really missed doing this so i thought this might help to de-stress i also did 45 minutes of yoga today which probably contributed to the better headspace that i'm in today um and yeah so i'm here i can't promise you that i will have a video like this on my youtube channel every week just because i have so much going on right now videos like this are a little bit more in depth they are a little bit more time consuming however i do promise you that i will continue to upload my shorts here on youtube which are videos that are 60 seconds or less i've been doing a ton of like tutorials get ready with me's and just like quick tips and you guys have really been loving them and i've gotten really good feedback so make sure that you subscribe and click the bell this way you get a notification whenever my shorter videos go live or when i have more traditional youtube videos like this i would really appreciate your support and i just thank you guys for bearing with me during this difficult time you know i know that life is not always great i just don't want to come on here and seep my sadness onto you. There have been days where I'm fine and then I cry and it's just like a lot and I don't wanna put all of that emotion on you. But I have been super active on my Instagram, which I think has been a blessing through all of this because since I haven't really been hitting record and doing these videos, I've been pouring more of my time into my Instagram and my TikTok. So if you like to see more real time stuff or just connect with me a little bit more, I will link my handles down below. Everything is Faces by Fortune. My time away from YouTube has been really special doing a lot more in the skincare realm. I hate to say self-love and self-care in relation to skincare because it's like so much more than that. But I take the time to really pamper myself and breathe and like I've gotten to the point where whatever helps, I will take it, how crazy it is, how crazy people may think I am. Like I've been sitting down doing my skincare and saying like affirmations in the mirror to myself, like anything that will just get me through the day. I'm gonna kind of go in the order in which I do things and I'm gonna give you guys mini reviews speedy speedy things and if you would like to see in-depth tutorials on some of these products that I'm going to mention I have featured a lot of them in my shorts videos so I will link the shorts playlist down below as well as at the end of this video if you haven't been keeping up this is the lifestyle co beach mist it's a botanical that's so hard to say beach mist botanical after sun spray this has tea tree oil in it which is naturally cleansing so it will help to fight breakouts and prevent breakouts also has aloe vera in it which is super super hydrating this is the most hydrating facial spray i have ever used it's not super fragmented so if you are someone that has very sensitive irritable skin like myself i get very red especially with things that are overly scented this will not bother you it does have a scent but it's very light it's kind of like clean smelling and this mist it's so nice. It smells very clean, but really light. Guys, I use this for everything. I use this in between every single step in my skincare routine. Again, check out my shorts where you will see how I use this. I use this as a makeup setting spray. I use this as just a pick me up. I've been using this for, I wanna say like a month and a half now. I've made a pretty decent dent in this. And the second that I run out of this, I'm definitely, definitely buying more. I wanna try out some more of their products. I saw that the Lifestyle Co. has really nice cuticle oil. At least it looks really nice. Lifestyle & Co., I think we should work together. I think that would benefit the both of us because I cannot tell you how many videos I've uploaded with this freaking sprite in it. Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This I bought on a whim, honestly. I forgot what I bought from their website or on a website and I needed to meet free shipping because I don't know what it is. I'll spend 30 more dollars before I spend five dollars on shipping. I don't, that probably doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, guys, this is super cheap. It is six dollars. Extremely hydrating. I read a little bit about this. This has like three different sizes hyaluronic acid so it really penetrates the skin it's not sticky it really feels like water on the skin really comfortable and if you're someone that has dry skin i really really think that you will absolutely love this it has a dropper which i love it's good it's nice and i highly highly recommend it after i go ahead and i put that serum on in the morning uh guys I have two of their facial tools right here. This is from Satchu Beauty. If you have been following me on here or really anywhere, mostly on my Instagram though, you will know that I am so obsessed
obsessed with their stainless steel facial roller. This will depuff your skin in the matter of minutes. This will lift, this will tighten. This is just going to do everything you could holistically do for your face. So when I say holistically, like what Botox would do, but without the Botox. So this lifts, this depuffs. I've done so many videos where I show you guys half of my face done with this and the other side not. I use this in the morning because after laying horizontally, like things just droop and they get puffy. And like I said, I've been going through a tougher time. So my eyes are like super, super puffy in the morning. My face and my skin has never looked this good. And like, it's just crazy to me because like I said, I'm going through a tough time and I think I'm gonna stop saying it because I don't wanna like manifest that anymore. But for the last time, I am going through something right now. And you would think my skin would be a mess, but I'm just, everything looks really good in my opinion. I'm not tooting my own horn. The larger side I use on the majority of my face and then the smaller size I use around my eyes and my orbital, orbital bone. Just watch my tutorial. I'll link it up here as well as down below so you can get a more in-depth video. I can't talk about it too much because we have too many too many things to get through. My Maraud Hydration Perfecting Day Cream with SPF 30, the best facial sunscreen that will ever grace your face, especially if you have super dry skin. Mike has more combo leaning normal, I would say, skin, and I bought him the Maraud with vitamin C serum and he absolutely loves it. It's just really thin. It doesn't clog your pores. You know, like when you wear a thick sunscreen, it's just uncomfortable and you feel sticky and sweaty and just like hot. This does not do that, so I highly recommend it. It is pricey, but it is worth it. This is like probably probably the 10th bottle I've purchased of this product. Let's move towards my nighttime skincare. Fangs Go To Face Hero, a powerful and protective face oil, pure potent super oils, antioxidants, penetrate deeply to hydrate, revive, and ensure your lovely face against the appearance of fine lines and dark spots. My dark spots are pretty, they're there, but they're pretty tamed. I wear a hat most of the time. I wear SPF most of the time. I can't really say if this has done anything for my dark spots. This I just love as a face oil to help lock in all of of my products at night. Not only that, but also because I have been doing gua sha. If you don't know anything about gua sha, I don't know if I uploaded a video or if a video is coming, but I will link a video here as well as down below if it is up. But I've been using the oil at night to give my skin a nice slip so that I can gua sha. This is an old Chinese method to really lift and tone the face. So I use the face roller in the morning and then at night three times a week. I use the face roller every single day. There's not a day that has gone by in the last two and a half months where I have not used this. This I use three times a week because it's a little bit more intense. You have to apply a little bit more pressure, but this really helps to lift the face, prevent and treat wrinkles. This is just so, so good. You use the oil and you just go in lifting motions, but then you can also go down for lymphatic drainage. I sometimes get a double chin here. It's not because I have a double chin, but it's because I kind of retain, what's it called? Oh my God, what is it called? Phlegm? That's disgusting. Is it phlegm? Nasal? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like when you have a lot of like nasal issues going on, sometimes it gets trapped. So I kind of just like massage it out and then my double chin is gone. So if you're someone who doesn't naturally have a double chin, but sometimes you have a double chin, give this a try. And Satchu Beauty, work with me. I mean, like I've uploaded how many videos with your shit in it. I've been really liking this. So you guys know I like the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I took a break from that and I've been using the 111. I love like it, but I don't really know if I love it. It's a, it's a little harsher on my skin, I think, but this I've been using after removing my makeup. So you guys know I do a double cleanse. I'll use my Green Clean Pharmacy Cleansing Balm, and then I'll go in with this after to just really make sure that all the makeup is off. This is really creamy. It has amino acids in it. It's moisture deep cleansing, dermatologist tested. It has hyaluronic acid in it. Listen, I'm not one to like tell you to, to swap a cleanser out. Like if you have a cleanser that you like, I don't really think cleansers can make super big claims. I've said this before because you're washing your face and it's not sitting long enough to really do anything. But I just really like this because it's gentle on the skin. It has a really, really creamy texture. This is from Cermetic because I don't think I said that. Gently removes impurities while maintaining skin's balance as a hypoallergenic cleanser. Pretty much what I said, just in their own words. I am a huge fan of Sobel Skin RX. I love so so many of their products, but again, I just picked the standout products for this video and this is just something I cannot get enough of. Being someone that has really dry skin, I love this. It's super, super hydrating. This is the Biohyaluronic Moisturizing Cream. It's supposed to hydrate and lift. Can you tell that I am just like really freaking loving hyaluronic acid lately? I don't know why I slept on these things. I don't know why it took me so long to get into it, 
but I'm here. I am just living my best hyaluronic acid life. This is super thick, super creamy. I did a video, I've actually done several videos with this in it. It's non-scented, it's clean at Sephora. I just, this is so, so good. If you are someone that struggles with dry skin, with crepey skin, with wrinkles, you just, or you wanna prevent wrinkles and aaging from happening, then I highly, highly recommend this. Their niacinamide serum is also amazing. Their triple peptide eye cream, also amazing. Just, I don't think you could go wrong with Sobel Skin RX. I have two brushes here that I really wanna give a huge shout out to. These are makeup brushes, and these really make all the difference in my makeup application because I recently purchased some products that are drugstore that I am gonna mention in this video. I was like on the fence about them, but then I used these brushes with them and it just blew my mind like at how much better the products applied to my skin. So let's start off with the drugstore one. This I bought on a whim at Target in Times Square. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. It's just a dome small concealer brush. It is so good. It really just like whisks the concealer across my face seamlessly. It really spreads it out nice Nicely. It gives me a nice even thin layer of concealer, which I love thin makeup, especially in the summer. That's just like my vibe. I didn't powder today. I really have not been powdering at all, but like see, I have like a ton of creases in my eyelid. Um, so I'm just gonna, I don't know if you could see, but it just took it out really quick. Um, it's so good. I really like it and it's kind of like foolproof and super cheap. I mean elf brushes are like dirt cheap This is so nice. Highly recommend it. Another amazing drugstore purchase and I use these two together all the time NYX bear with me concealer serum in vanilla This covers up a lot more than I thought it was going to cover up I mean, I feel like when you say concealer serum, you're like, oh, that's gonna be really like coverage It is like coverage, but it does a really nice job of covering I'm wearing it today Like you can still see my pop blood vessel by my eyes but like it's really natural looking like I don't even look like I'm wearing makeup but if you were to see it before and after like, you know I'm wearing makeup but it's just such a beautiful skin like finish I did upload a dedicated video to this I will link it up here as well as down below more expensive brush that I have been using for a really really long time now you guys have seen this so many times I'm shocked that you can even still read what it says because I use it so much but this is the Yensa silk bronzer whether I use it with the Yensa bronzer or any other bronzer. This is my go-to cream bronzer brush. It is so good. It applies bronzer like no other brush and I just, I highly, highly recommend it. It is pretty pricey, but it is worth it. I've had it for a long time. I've washed it so many times and it is good as new. Let's continue on the drugstore train. I have these two e.l.f. ones that I bought as like drugstore options because I wanted to do a simple get ready with me with my merit. And then I had those of you who are babes on a budget, I always have you guys in mind because sometimes I'm on a budget as well. Elf putty products. I have a bronzer and I have the blush. The bronzer is in tan lines and the blush is in Turks and Caicos. I would totally buy these again. I do like the Merit products better. I think these are better for those of you who have normal skin or oily skin because they kind of, they're creams, but they kind of dry down as a powder. They're pigmented, but not too pigmented. So it looks really natural. So if you're someone that likes really natural makeup where people like just, you know, you just look put together. People don't know if you're wearing makeup or not, then I think you will really like these. Let me talk about the Merit products really quick. Both blushes, but this is in the shade Terracotta. I use this as a bronzer and this is in the shade Beverly Hills. Let me just get something straight. Beverly Hills is the best blush I have ever, ever used. It blows the Turks and Caicos out of the water, but this is really, really good as a drugstore option. Merit is Clean Beauty, in case you did not know. If you are interested in any Merit products, I do have a link. Please click it. I do not make any money off of you, but I am a Merit affiliate, so any of the products that you purchase through me, I make a small commission of and I would really appreciate it. So the perfect, perfect shade for me and I'm wearing it today. There's really not a day that I don't wear this. Like even on days where I try other ones, just end up putting Beverly Hills on over it. So terracotta is really good too. This is just like the perfect formula. And I know like I've talked about Merit several times and one of my biggest things with them is the fact that you don't get a lot of product for your money. However, I have used these Merit products for months and months and months. I'm pretty sure Merit sent me their products in February and we are now in the middle of July and I am nowhere near the end of any of these except for 
the gel brow pomade, which this has lasted me a really long time as well because I literally use this every day. 1980, I'm pretty sure it's called, volumizing pomade in brown. I did some research because a lot of the times when I mentioned this, I said like, guys, I don't know what's happening. I use this and my brows are just like bushier than ever. I think it's because it's clean beauty. I did my research, which I should have done before. And this actually has conditioning properties in it. So it helps to condition the hairs from the roots this way. Like, have you ever used a lash serum? It conditions the lashes and this conditions the brows so that you can hold onto your brow hairs longer. I found that like using other makeup products and other brow pencils, when I would go to wash them out, I think it would just like clog up my follicles and clog up the pores in my brows. And I was spending too much time trying to get the brow product out, but I was losing brow hairs. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here because you guys know. <sighs> Lancome Lashy Doll, the best mascara, by far the best mascara on the market. I've used other mascaras like the Merit Lengthening Mascara, really good. That is the best clean beauty mascara I have ever used. I used the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal, really great, you know, drugstore option. But every time I come back to this, I look myself in the mirror and I say to myself, bitch, why? Why did you stop using this? Because this just does something to my lashes. I myself really like a long wispy kind of easy breezy lash. I don't love a chunky lash, whereas I feel like if you're someone that likes falsies, which that's not me. Am I in the mood for a falsie here and there? Yeah, but I kind of just like an effortless look. That's just been my vibe lately. This is an effortless lash. If you're someone that likes more of a falsie kind of a look, then I do recommend the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. It's nice, just not really my vibe. Four lip products that I cannot get enough of that I literally just every day, I just grab all of them and throw them in my bag because I might start off with one in the beginning of the day and then after I eat lunch and I need to replenish my lips, I'll pick another and then at night I'll change another. It's just, I can't get enough of these. One I'm wearing today is from Dewtube Shade Champagne. It is just like your lips, but better. And like when the light hits it, it just makes my lips look really juicy. All of these products help to fill in the lines of my lips. I'm not talking about chapped lips. I'm talking about just like fine lines in my lips. I've always had them. I imagine it's gonna get worse as I get older, but thankfully I have these products to go ahead and remedy that. Ooh, stop it, stop it. It's so, so good. Another one that I've had for a really long time and I kind of took a break from it, Lano Lips Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Perfect Nude. Thick and pigmented, but it melts down really, really nice. It's just like the perfect nude for me. It's a pink, I'll put a little bit here. Um, it's really nice, super hydrating. It has lanolin in it, which helps to fill in those lines. Really, really good. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's good, a good staple. And if you are someone that tends to have really chapped lips and you want a lip product, that's not only gonna make your lips look good, but it's going to help nourish them. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. I really hated on this when I first tried this, but we've come a long way and now I love her. Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. I have the shade Orchid. This is so good. What I didn't like is that when you put it on, it kind of like melts, makes a mess along the tube. And it was bothering me because I was such a perfectionist with my lips prior that it would kind of get outside of the line and it would just bother me. But now that I don't care as much, super hydrating, again, fills the lines in really nicely. And this is a really good shade too. You can see the difference, but really pretty. It smells like coconuts to me, which I don't think there's any claim of this having coconut in it. I love it. It's really nice and I highly recommend. This is amazing. Also by Tarte, but this is their Sugar Crush line, which I don't really know the difference. Um, Dragon Fruit. And this is more of just like a clear, like there's really, it has like a really light purple kind of tone to it. But this is just beautiful for making your lips look naturally juicy. Honestly, like every time I wear this, Mike tells me that my lips look really, really good. So if you're just looking for a natural plump to your lips and it smells nice, it smells like a Jolly Rancher. Two perfumes that I use every day and I have a lot of perfumes, but these have just been the two that I've been using. So good, pure, kind vanilla ginger. I hope this is still sold. I think this is by Sally Hansen, but this is a toilet, so it's lighter. It doesn't really last that long. I use this every day after I get out of the shower, just as like a nice like smelling-ness. I shower at night, so um, when I get home from work, I'll shower and then I'll throw a little bit of this on and this will just be like my scent. So my pajamas smell like this. It's just 
It's a really good body spray. I was looking for a body spray that wasn't like a Victoria's Secret just because I feel like I've outgrown it. No shade on those of you who like Victoria's Secret, but the, it just has like a more like juvenile scent to me. Everyday scent, like my perfume. Mike bought this for me for my birthday. He actually had this. This is by Lalabo. This is Rose 31. It smells very different on him than it smells on me. Um, I think I bought him the rose one for his birthday like a couple years ago, but they're unisex and I kept bothering him to let me try it. He didn't want me to try his, so he bought me my own. It smells very floral on him just because he's just, our, our makeups are very different in terms of like our scents. It, so it smells more florally and like genuinely rose on him where it smells a little spicier on me. I just think this is a really good summery scent for me because to be honest, in, in the summer I can smell a little spicy and this just really matches well with me and like masks anything that needs to be masked. And it lasts really long, like it'll last all day. It's not like overpowering, overbearing, um, but I love it and it's nice. And I've made a pretty decent dent in it, but it's also lasted a really long time. That is it, my friends. Those are all of the products I have been absolutely loving while, you know, taking some time away from our one-on-one -on -one kind of original YouTube videos. If you enjoyed this video, do be sure to leave it a big thumbs up down below. Let me know down below in the comments, what are some products that you can't live without? I would love to hear them. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell if you have not done so yet. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.